One of the criteria for a Chacoan Great House seems to be almost an obsession, not my word now, uh, with the cardinal directions, north, south, east, and west. They were excellent observers of the sun and used it as a calendar, how to predict planting and harvesting and all of these things. Uh, if you follow the track of the sun during the day, and you can do this pretty simply, you can create the east-west line as it moves naturally from one direction to the other. And then if you know your 90 degrees, these people certainly did, you've got your north-south. The largest of the great kivas in the system of Chaco that we're aware of is here in the canyon right near downtown Chaco on the south side, which is unusual, unusual for a great house-like structure. It's one of these round rooms, and it has very precise north, south, and east, and west alignments in it. Uh, far too precise for us to think that they were accidental. So the north, south, east, and west, there they are, the cardinal directions. There's also, these days now, uh, a marker for the summer solstice that everybody wonders about, it, was it intentional because of the rebuilding? Uh, and it's, uh, it's a tough question to answer. It basically comes down now to belief. Uh, the people in the 30s who did the refurbishing of the building uh, are um, responsible for recreating or creating the alignment. We don't know which. They didn't know about it. They just did what they did as best they could, and then in the 70s, 25, 30 years later, these two guys realized, oh look, there's a summer solstice marker here, and it's quite compelling and it's interesting. And it has become a traditional place for people to come and see one of these alignments.